I have no artistic bone in my body. You have a friend, you give your friend flowers. Like she lives for a cute fit, honey. I'm gonna be doing my full skincare tonight. Hey guys, hey guys. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time watching, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Anastasia, so happy to have you. Welcome to the channel, guys. Subscribe to the channel, join the family. If you are a returning subscriber, if you are a part of the family, hey girl, hey, y'all know we getting our stuff together over here. Like, seriously, getting our stuff together. It is Tuesday, I don't know the date, don't have my phone in hand right now. And as you can see, your girl is dressed, okay? She's she's ready for outside, that, that's what she's doing, okay? I am outside on a Thursday, y'all. Who, who is she? Who is <laughs> <laughs> Miss Barrett. But yeah, I am going out to eat with my best friend tonight. We are going to my favorite, one of my favorite restaurants, y'all. We're going to Eddie V's. And when I tell y'all, I am so ready. I got the calories on deck. You know what I'm saying? Like the, cal the calories are put up, right? They put up for this meal. Y'all know I'm really in this era of trying to get my life together and I'm, I'm seeing results and benefits from that. So we're going to Eddie V's and I wanted to go ahead and start the vlog, y'all. I was like, let me go ahead and start the vlog. She's not here yet, so I'm kind of just waiting around till she gets here. But let's talk about my hair because I have a different hairstyle. We went back to our favorite hairstyle, half up, half down. Did it myself um, today. <laughs> I'm loving this look. It's giving very much grown woman, okay? Giving very much grown woman. Makeup, I'm loving my makeup. I told y'all I'm trying to master the makeup from my face, the beat from my face. And it's definitely, it's, it's definitely giving this, okay? I, I really like this. I feel like this is natural. I really like this look. So I'm gonna try to keep this look down. Try to remember everything I did. Cause you know, sometimes you just be moving and you just be and you don't remember what you did. But I'm gonna try to remember this look. Why are you taking for Ringo? Shine it up in case you <laughs> shine it up. He said he gonna shine my ring up in case it's dim in the restaurant. That little sodium in there. <laughs> you coming for my fingers? He said you had a little sodium. He is so rude. He's really cleaning my ring. He is not playing. He is not playing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is how you know you look good. Y'all see is, how my wife look. This is how you know you look good. You gonna tell my girl look back? You see the ring. <laughs> when he take that ring off your finger and shine it up so they can see it, baby, he is not playing. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like magic right there. Thank you, babe. I didn't realize I was in the door. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> So this is the outfit I'm wearing, guys. I actually wore this in Texas. However, the hairstyle was braids, and I just didn't like how the hairstyle was hitting with this outfit. So I was like, we're gonna put that up, redo it. We're not posting anything. From Pretty Little Thing, I don't know if I already said that, but it's like the button up top, and then it has these sleeves, which are so stinking cute. Like these sleeves are really, really big, really long. I absolutely love these type of sleeves, y'all. I, I live for these type of sleeves. And then the pants are just like the loose cargo type pants. But y'all know what these pants remind me of though, low key? Um, nurse, like the nurse, the scrubs. These kind of remind me of scrubs. Um, but I guess a more elegant scrub. And they are like wide leg at the bottom. Let me see if I can show y'all. And then as for the shoes, I'm just wearing these beige like cream boots. I guess more like cream boots that I got from... Fashion Nova, I've only worn these once. I literally forgot about them. Okay, let's go back up here. And the quality is like, the quality is beautiful. The quality is really, really nice. Very, very like soft linen. Like I love, 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 love the quality. And then we are wearing our Bottega dupe, of course, from TJ Maxx, because it matches the heels. It matches the heels. So that is what we are wearing, guys. Ooh, let me put my shirt down. That is what we are wearing. <laughs> And full of comedy. Nice. I was not I was not trying to be comedy. Um, but I just want to hop on here and show you guys. And I'm just wearing my gold watch. And then I'm wearing the Bottega, the Bottega dupes from Amazon. Y'all, I bought these a while back. The first time I wore them, I really did not like it. I was in uh, Mexico 
and I just didn't like my style. My hair was kind of like, my braids was kind of crunchy from being in the water. And Tony said, I was, <laughs> Tony was talking about them. So I didn't really like them when I first wore them, but they are the dupes from Amazon. I honestly wish that I would have gotten the smaller ones, but you know, I was like, mm, whatever. You get it shining, babe? <laughs> But yeah, guys, I just wanted to, like I said, get the vlog started. I'm about to talk to my husband for a while and wait on my friend to get here. And I am going to vlog at the restaurant, y'all. I cannot wait to go. Really, only ate breakfast today. For breakfast, I did turkey bacon, two protein pancakes. Can you bring me some mac and cheese back? Uh-huh. And scrambled <laughs> eggs. <laughs> uh-huh. And scrambled eggs. Um, and I've been drinking my water today. I know that probably ain't good to skip meals, you know, because you really need that protein you need to eat. But the way I'm about to eat at this restaurant, trust me, I, I, I made the right choice. I made the right decision. So we're going to stand on that. Pretty. Hi, Bob. Look how good you look on yeah, you look good. Cute. Um, so this is my blues. Okay, my question. Where am I looking? Uh, there. I look here. Yeah, but not here. Not here. That's celebrated my blues. Um, the way my life is set up, we had to do a late celebration. But she deserves this. She's my best friend. I love her. And as I told her before, I will tell the world how just selfless she is. She cares for me. She encourages me. And that's my best friend. So I just want to let y'all know when y'all have somebody that's good to you, that treats you right, I don't care. People think it's a relationship, but when you have a friend, you give your friend flowers and you let them know publicly how much you love them and care for them. So it's a celebration. <laughs> This is my, this is my person, like my best friend. Y'all know how I tell y'all, you gotta have that friend that you, thank you, that you can talk to about anything. We can be honest, we can be real. The wrong, the disagreements, it's all love. And it's, it's just a bitch. I love her. <laughs> thank you. So it is the next day. It is 5.18 a.m. I am up and about to go to the gym. Super tired, but we got our yerba mate on deck. I'm about to drink that. Get me right before we get to the gym. Y'all, I had so much fun last night. Like, literally, we had so much fun. When I tell you, all we do is laugh when we get together. Like, oh my God, I had so much fun. I didn't get home to probably like 11, 11.15. 11, Baby, I was tired. <laughs> I was like, I will have to pick up that camera tomorrow. Yeah, about to go to the gym. I haven't vlogged at the gym in a while because it just be so crowded at the gym. Y'all know when the seasons start to get warmer, the gyms start to get more crowded. And honestly, with me working out this early and then I have to be at work at eight, I don't be really having a lot of time to wait around and get content. Um, so I don't know, I just be trying to be respectful of people's privacy, but I tell myself today, I want to start back vlogging at the gym because that's a part of my life. I love the gym. So yeah, that's where we are headed.
Okay, guys. So I just finished my workout and I feel good. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I didn't know what I was gonna give in that workout today because baby, I am on a schedule. Like I try to be in bed as early as possible, which is typically like, I try to lay down by 8.30, 9 o'clock at the latest, depending on the day. For the most part, I try to get my rest because the better I rest, the better I perform in the gym, the better I perform just in life. <laughs> when I don't get enough rest, I am so grouchy. Um, so, with me getting back so late last night, I didn't know how that was gonna go. <laughs> My workouts are typically like, I have a schedule. So like on Mondays, I do arms, cardio. I do cardio every day with these workouts. But on Mondays, I do arms. On Tuesdays, I do glutes. On Wednesdays, I do back. Thursdays, I do legs. And then on Fridays, it's been like a freestyle. It's been like a freestyle Friday for the most part. I just do whatever I wanna do. But I've been trying to make sure to hit my cardio hard. Um, I've been trying to get in like three miles. The goal would be to get in like five miles. But again, working out so early, you have to really be strategic with your time. Because 5 a.m., you know, I try to get to, I get up at 5, so I try to get to the gym by no later than 5.30. I try to get in there. Sometimes I can get up a little earlier, and if I do, I go ahead and get up. But the goal is to be up at 5 a.m. and be out the house and try to be at the gym by 5.30. Not to mention on Thursdays and Fridays, I have to be leaving the gym by seven. I have to be leaving the gym by seven because AJ um, has these two Christian clubs he goes to on Thursdays and Fridays. So I have to make sure I <clears throat> leave the gym in time to pick him up and get him to school for his uh, clubs that he has to go to. So Thursdays and Fridays is really like, girl. But these two days, it's like, girl, you don't have time, like boom, boom, boom. That's why I was hesitant about vlogging today. But um, a lot of my supporters has messaged me those that follow me on Instagram because I post my workouts on Instagram Like every day I post my watch just to encourage others to get up You know, I show the days where you know, I'll put on there like a little message and say, you know Like today it gave what it gave or today. I was not feeling it like just to encourage people like to show up the best you can I feel like we live in a time where it's so easy to you know get discouraged and compare yourself to other people's journeys but you can't do that like give as long as I show up and give my hundred percent whether that's if tomorrow's fifty <laughs> percent like that's that's what I got but you you showed up and that's my mindset still show up no matter what if I don't go hard I went if I don't hit my goal I went that's my mindset so yeah I like to post my workouts and they was messaging me like girl we need we need some some tips we need to see these workouts so I you know if you watch my vlogs for a while I used to vlog at the gym a lot but I don't know I started to feel bad because I started to feel bad and I started to be like slighted on my time because you have to like be you know um, what's the word I'm looking for you have to be um, I can't think what I'm trying to say but you just have to respect people's privacy. And I know me personally, when I'm in the gym, I'm not trying to be on nobody's camera. Like I'm working on a personal journey and fitness is a very sensitive topic. So I be trying to be respectful. And when you're trying to like take time to get certain angles and you're trying to like, you know, gotta wait for this person to move, gotta wait. I'll be like, oh, I just, I ain't got it. <laughs> did my three miles today. I did some jump rope. I, I did abs. Cause I try to make sure to get my abs in too. Um, that's just what I do and like a tip because I know that y'all be messaging me asking for tips and stuff The be biggest tip I could give is to learn your body. I know my body like I know what I got to do Like for me, I know I got to get that cardio in if I don't get some cardio in I'm not gonna see much results <laughs> like I know my body hitting those weights your diet Definitely like I know when I'm going hard, baby got to cut back like last night ate down <laughs> like when I tell y'all I only ate breakfast yesterday. I told y'all what I ate turkey bacon eggs and I ate two protein uh, pancakes I ain't eat nothing else the rest of the day which really probably ain't healthy but I was like listen I'm about to go in on this food and y'all know I don't know if I didn't told y'all this but I'm on this fake pescatarian journey where I want to be a pescatarian so bad so any chance I get where if I go to a restaurant and they have seafood options that I like I try to eat seafood like I want to be a pescatarian so bad it's literally on my goals for this year and I just been like trying new things like I showed y'all I had got those salmon Southwest burgers who knew I would ever eat a salmon burger like I had never eaten that before Anyways, I'm about to go pick AJ up so I can get him to school 
and then I'm gonna try to rush home get me a shower and then I gotta get ready for work I am getting off early today because I have a doctor's appointment I just wanted to show y'all his new glasses y'all these are <laughs> you look so nice you. thank you I like these they're only blue lights I promise I can see I so, can see reading all that okay you gonna let me have the other ones you got he got some all black ones that I want him to let me have but he's not giving me an answer so I guess that's a no I mean thing is like a lot of people said the black ones look good too just oh like, so you do like ones. you say you didn't yeah. like the black ones at first at first i didn't but you changed your mind told me, I don't know. because you remember the ones i had bought i bought some black ones mm -hmm. back around when i was doing vlogmas mm -hmm. and i liked them but the lenses were so small but i like how your lens is like big i got them from sheen right oh, okay i'm gonna say amazon because he'd be ordering from amazon too well yeah i like them i didn't like them at first they had to grow on me but i like them now they fit your, the frames fit your face, so. Thank you. Mine did not fit my face. They were way too small. Morning, small. Mama's Boo Boo. How are you? Y'all, Kobe's recovering from a bad haircut, so. Don't be too hard on my boy. They, they took him too low this time. He didn't like it. Are you okay that I'm talking about it, Kobe, or is it is it too soon? Huh? They scalped my boy. Yeah. Yeah. Mama's Boo Boo's. It's okay. It'll grow back. It did look a mess though. I ain't gonna hold you, Kobe. They 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 tore that up. So it is a while later. I am off to work. Ooh, ooh. I'm dressed and I'm about to head out. I told y'all I had a doctor's appointment. So I'm about to head to my doctor's appointment, guys. It is at two o'clock. It's 1 30. Um, but I wanted to hop on here real quick to show y'all the outfit that we are wearing today. I am wearing because one of my supporters had met um had messaged me and one had commented and was like, we want to see more of your fashion things, you know? And so that's something I'm going to try to make sure to start implementing more of because y'all know some days I just be chilling in the house and there's no fashion behind that. Um, and then, you know, just showing more of my fashion, my style on my channel. Cause y'all know she loves a cute fit. Like she lives for a cute fit, honey. She lives for it. So yeah, I'm going to show y'all the outfit. I did my makeup. I did my hair the best I could. That's one thing I don't like about being in the gym. That's the one thing that I don't like about being in the gym is the hair. My hair be looking crazy because you can't stop the sweat. And I be seeing what girls be saying like they tie their hair down a certain way. Honey, I've tried all of it. It just don't work. So this is the outfit. I am wearing this dress that I got from... Um, Amazon, y'all seen this before. I've wore it like around the house. But I was like, I want to put this on today because I want to keep doing my hands like that. But I was like, I want to put this on today because it's comfortable, it's cute. And it's like the perfect Aaron outfit. I go to the doctor's office and Tony want to go get Mexican later. So I was like, I could just keep this on all day. I, I don't have to come home and change. I still feel cute. Also got to go by the bank. So just a little errands and stuff I gotta run. I'm just gonna put my little, I got my little, um, I cannot pronounce this. That's why every time I wear this purse, I just say, my little black purse. <laughs> Cause I cannot pronounce that. I mess it up every time. So I'm not even gonna do that. I did it with my New Balances cause y'all know these are my favorite shoes. I need to really buy me some more because she's obsessed. I need to get a different color. But I just did it with my New Balance. I kind of pulled it down. This is not a style that I've ever done. But I like it. It just looks cute. It just gives, you know, she got stuff to do. So, yeah, this is what we're gonna wear. Hello, guys. So, it is as always a while later. Um, my curls are my curls are barely hanging on at this point, y'all. It is ugly outside. It is rainy, gloomy, cold. Like it. this bipolar weather in Tennessee. I just cannot. So we're actually headed to dinner. We're gonna go to our favorite Mexican restaurant, which is Julio's. If you, I don't know if those are everywhere. I know, I wanna say they told us one time that they have them in Florida maybe. But when I tell y'all, it's like a upscale kind of Mexican restaurant. It is so, the best queso I've ever had. Y'all have seen it before in these vlogs because we be going. But we're gonna go there. The only thing I hate is that it's a good little drive, good little hike. But it is definitely Princess Passenger over here. So I will be over here in this passenger seat trying to stay woke because <laughs> I'm so sleepy. So I left the doctor's office. I had to go run some errands, go by the bank, just, you know, run a couple errands. I ended up, 
um, not going to any stores. I wanted to go to TJ Maxx, but I ended up not going. So I might try to convince Tony to go with me tomorrow. But I wanted to go look for some candles because we're almost out of candles, y'all. Like the candle I'm burning now is literally a Christmas candle and I do not care. <laughs> it was one that I had that I bought, uh, that I have left that I bought when I did the Bath and Body Works sale back. I think it was in December. Um, so baby, I'm burning that Christmas candle, but it'd be funny when people come over because they'll look at it and I'm like, mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> I'm about to go enjoy dinner with my husband. Um, indulge in some great conversation. AJ, he's gone. He didn't dipped out for the weekend. And his little cousins are here from Louisville. So, um, yeah. We're about to go have a little dinner. Mm -hmm. What you eating? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you eating? So Snickers got a protein bar. Oh, I, whoa. Whoa, because they definitely don't care. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it new? Or is it just... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I need to it's see that. To the general public. I told them that place is so good. When you say that's like an upscale kind of... I always of, call it upscale Mexican restaurant. Okay. That's definitely what it gives. Like, the food is like... Oh, it's just so good. I might even step out of my comfort zone and try something new. I get the Yeah, best. right. <laughs> I literally get the same thing every time. But I don't know what I would get, though. I really don't know what I would get because I don't do fajitas. That's not my thing. That does nothing for me. It's good. It's really not. <laughs> it's really not. I did get the tacos one time. The tacos was good, but they just wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like that, like that. It was like, okay, they good. So what do you get? Quesadilla. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you want to get off the kids menu. <laughs> <laughs> No, the quesadillas are good. They're huge. Oh, and then they got these like... Bro, you get chicken and cheese on the joint. Like, you don't even get no sauce. Uh-huh. No. Well, I get like... The, they give you lettuce, tomato, guacamole. That oh, you don't eat. Their guacamole? Eat guac, though. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, one thing I don't like is their salsa. Their salsa looks brown. Like, it's good. No. And their beans look like baked beans. Don't do those uh, either. I want to tell that SDK story so bad. Tell the SDK story. I was just, the girl I'm training at work, we literally just talked about this today because she was like, I didn't know SDK had a happy hour. And she said um, that they have a happy hour where you can go, you know. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I said, I don't like SDK. That food to me is so overrated and I it's take, disgusting. I take her to SDK thinking I'm doing something nice and good. The vibe was beautiful. She eat half of the appetizer. The crab cake was ooh, fire. Oh, baby, I'm so full. The other stuff was disgusting. We leave and, add, and she asked for White Castle. I love White Castles. Well, I thought I was going to lose my mind. <laughs> did that in the first place. I love White Castles. People be so shocked about that. I'm, I and love. All my STK attendees know what that ticket looked like for a nice date night. And she asked for some White Castle. Well, our reservation was late, which I love White Castle, so. <laughs> but our reservation was late. And we had been in there for a long time. And there wasn't many options around that time. So White Castle's 24 hours, baby. Run me my but you told two me cheeseburgers, you was full my fries, and my hot to drink, and let's run it. So we made it. Y'all, look at this. What queso looks like this? This is the only downfall to eating here. Baby, who's eating this? This is, okay, so there's two different ones. And they said that this is the spicy one. This is the one that's not spicy. Is this spicy at all, babe? It is? No, uh, it's regular. So this is regular and this is spicy, but why does it look like that? Like, why does it look like that? It is the next day. <clears throat> it is the next day. It is 1221 p.m. As y'all can see, I am in the bed. 
I'm having a slow but productive Saturday. I actually had to be somewhere at 8 o'clock this morning. Me and Tony both went to help a friend move. Um, once we got finished with that, I came back home, took me a shower, and I've been glued to my laptop ever since. Just working on some things for my organization. I've got an event coming up and just different things I'm changing up and about to embark on. So I've been just glued to my... I've literally been glued to my laptop since we got back around like... We probably got back about like 9.30, 9.45. But later today, my friend for her birthday is having a pay and wait a minute, paint and pray event for her birthday. So I'm going to be going to that. It started at 6.15. Um, so we'll get dressed for that. I am going to vlog it. I'm going to take my camera, but I'm just going to like only vlog, you know, be um, respectful to people's privacy that might not want to be on my camera. Um, there might be people there I've never met or, you know, don't really know. So... I'm going to vlog it because I've never been to a paint and pray. I think that is just so powerful, so dope. I've been to a sip and paint, but I've never been to paint and pray. So um, I'm just excited about that. Looking forward to that. So we will do that later on today. But as for now, honey, we are staying in bed. Uh, my husband is actually getting us something to eat and he'll be back here. I did already make my to-do list today. I haven't marked anything off though. Y'all, let me show you this case. I'm going to show you this phone case I got too. But hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Grocery shop, finished project for organization, help my friend move. That was really, pretty much all I had on my list to do today. I'm waiting on a package from um, Amazon, which is going to be something for my event. So it says that will come today. But other than that, that's all I had to do today. So... Yeah, I also wanted to show y'all this new phone case I got. But they had sent me this a while back. And I absolutely love this case. They're on Amazon. And they're called Autofly Silicone Case, it says. When I tell you this case is adorable, it's so cute. I love this color. Y'all know I love neutral colors. Just don't pay attention to my nails. They're trash. I got it on my phone. Went to try to charge it. And it doesn't work with my charger because I have the um, charger that sits on my nightstand. Um, this type of charger, and you you're supposed to just be able to attach it with the magnet with the magnet on the back, but it don't have the magnet, so it keeps falling down. I'm so mad about that. When I tell you this is so cute and it just looks so clean, I will drop their link below. Um, but yeah, they said they're gonna sponsor you, girl, and I'm gonna get. Every time I get a new phone, I can get free phone cases through their company. So I was like, absolutely. Oh, also when me and Tony left from moving, we stopped by the gas station. Tell me why they had the poppy drinks in the gas station. I was like, so I get to the register to, to us so we could check out. And the woman was like, wait, what? <laughs> she was like, we have these? I was like, I was thinking the same thing. I've never seen these in a gas station ever. And I was like, this is just a sign that I need to get back on my poppies because I really feel off from drinking these. But I absolutely love these. these this is my favorite. The strawberry lemonade. I mean, the strawberry lemon. If y'all have been watching my channel, y'all know I was on these hard for a while. Like, hard. Um, so I'm definitely at... I added that to my grocery list of things I want to purchase because they definitely have them at Publix. And I'm going to get me some of these. But this can look bigger to me. I don't know. It looks bigger than the ones in the store. Maybe it's just because I haven't bought them in a long time. But baby, I tore this drink down. I cannot wait to get some on my grocery list. I will hop back on here later on. Hope you all are having a great Saturday. <sighs> hey guys. So it is a while later. I just finished getting dressed. And I'm about to head, um, head out to the paint and pray party. I'm doing very good on time. It is 5.42. So we're doing very good on time. Um, it starts at 6.15 and she the where she's having it is not too far from me. So yeah, this is what we're wearing. <laughs> Y'all, I did my makeup. I am really feeling this natural look. I don't have on any lashes. Um, I just did mascara. Hopefully it don't make my eyes itch because y'all know that'd be making my eyes itch. I don't know why, but it do. Um, but anyways, this is what I'm wearing. Just something comfortable. Um, this jacket I've been having, I bought this, I believe it was like in 2022, to be honest with y'all. Um, I got this from Fashion Nova. It also have a skirt to go to it. Never worn it like with jeans. So I was like, I just want to be cute and kind of layered up because it is chilly outside. Um, like chilly. So um, I'm doing this and I have on these jeans from Pretty Little Thing. 
Okay guys, so we are en route. It says we are eight minutes away. Am I turning right here? Oh no, I'm not turning. Look, let me pay attention. It says we are eight minutes away and I am gonna be a few minutes late. I forgot I had to stop to get, I wanted to get her a gift card and a birthday card. Um, so I stopped to get her a gift card and all that. And now we are on the way. And I failed to mention that I have no artistic bone in my body. We're gonna see how this go. I'm gonna show y'all my painting either way, I think. But yeah, we are in route. Put my seatbelt on y'all, hold on. Put my seatbelt on. Put my seatbelt on. And then I don't know what this piece is doing. I put like heat on it, I've brushed it down, like, and it just keeps sticking out. I don't know what the problem is. Like, what's going on? Best friend's supposed to be here too, y'all. I don't even know if I talked about our little date night, our little girls date night. Y'all had so much fun with my friend Thursday when we went out to eat. When I tell y'all, it was just a, we laughed so hard. Have y'all ever just hung out with y'all's friends and just literally measured the amount of time or, you know, like, Paid attention to the amount of time that y'all just laugh. Like, we literally laugh 90% of the time we're together. I'm not even being funny. Like, I'm not even joking. We literally laugh, like, non-stop. It's crazy. Oh, she got the honey butter. I'll probably about three of these rows. Mm. <laughs> I love rows. Okay, so we're gonna do the, the background first. We're gonna work our way to the front. Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Pretty much like whatever color you want to do your background. I'm gonna do mine like blue and white. So I'll, I'll just show you. You just take some white paint. I'm using this this brush. Which one the, is that? Like the to share the white or how much white we're gonna need a lot? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Oh, we are gonna need a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, let me get some white. It'll just help the paint like. Thank you. Like, so the scripture, focus scripture for tonight is Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19. And it says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. Um, again, I just, I believe that God is doing a new thing, not just in me, but in each and every one of you all. Um, I do believe that God is about to do it. So I just pray. My prayer is that each and every one of us embrace um, our new, our newness so as we walk um, into this new. We're still at the, I don't want to say the beginning of the year, but we're yes. still, it's still, we still got a ways to go. Mm -hmm. So I just pray. My prayer is that we really fully walk in the obedience of God and do what we are supposed to do wholeheartedly. So yeah love so that new, love new. That. all things new yes hey guys so it is the next day y'all it is sunday it is march 20 it is sunday march 24th and it is 5 54 p.m we definitely got a late start today <laughs> to the vlog anyway but i was like i need to get back home. i need to get on my vlog i was like i haven't vlogged any today so here we are um I think the last time I was vlogging was at the paint party, uh, paint and pray party, y'all. It was so powerful. That's that's the best way I could explain that up, sum that up. It was so powerful, so fun. Um, so didn't get to finish my painting because that's just how powerful it was. <laughs> so my friend Erica had told me like she had a surprise for us, but I was like, you know, I'm thinking like something materialistic, like, girl, what you got for me, like? What's, what's up? What you got? Her pastor came. Her pastor came to our paint and paint, pray and paint party. I don't know why I get tongue tied when I say that, but she came, y'all. And to sum up how powerful her being there was, I didn't even finish my painting. I didn't even finish it. So it was supposed to be like a crown, um, and then it had like a heart. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see it. Hopefully y'all can. And I had this whole, I had my little paint palette out. I was going to do like the pink heart and then put like pink glitter on it. My crown was going to be gold with some cute diamonds on it. Um, but time just got away from us, honestly. Like she had got us food. Uh, she catered with, she had Texas Roadhouse set up for the food. We had like shrimp, chicken. Y'all, we had rolls and butter. When I tell y'all, I ate horrible this weekend. 
I hate, I hate horrible this weekend, but it's okay. We still gonna bounce back, cause that's what we do. We gonna bounce back, we gonna do the work. Cause y'all know we working over here. So if y'all ever wonder when I say we working over here, we really are working over here. It's not for play play, okay? Let's just be very clear. So we ate, um, we played a game, and then we started painting, and then the pastor came. And we all got to like meet her, introduce ourselves and you know, stuff like that. Then we had like a, it was like a service, a Bible study it was like all in one. Y'all, when I tell y'all it was so powerful, y'all know your girl was taking notes. I took some notes. Um, my notes aren't as organized as I would have wanted them because I was so like, I didn't want to miss nothing. Like, I was like, let me get it all in. Um, she also had us like little gifts. Oh, I don't guess, I don't spill something on my bag. It says, thank you. On the back it says, especially for you. Like these are so cute. And in it we got a ink pen and it says, I thank God for you. How cute. Can y'all see that? I don't know if it's, hold on. I don't know if, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see that, but it says, I think, am I holding it right? Yeah. It says, I thank God for you. How cute is that? And then she also got us this bracelet and it says, Jesus, I trust in you. So cute. This is so adorable. I hope this is focusing. I hope that's focusing. And then we also had a notepad. It says, I can, what did I spill? I spilled something on my bag. It's literally on everything. But it says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13. And it's like a little notepad. And then she also put like chocolates and stuff in here. And then it says, pray always. Little keychain. So cute. So cute. The energy in the room was like perfect. Y'all know I'm real big on my spaces. And just having um, healthy energy and relationships around me. So it was just perfect. It was really a great vibe. I had a great time. And my friend, like she is one of the most selfless people I know. I'm really blessed to have the friends that I have, y'all. Literally, it was her birthday, and she was doing all of this to, like, cater to us. She was like, don't bring a gift card. I mean, she was like, we didn't have to bring a gift. Mind y'all, on her actual birthday, she did a, um, where we donated, and she, like, gave back to a family in need. Um, and she was like, this, you know, for my birthday this year, I want to just give. I don't want to, you know, uh, receive gifts. I want to be a gift giver. So she did that on her actual birthday which was last Thursday. And then um, yesterday when we got there, she had everything set up for us, gift bags, cupcakes, food. We didn't have to pay anything to attend this um, at all. But of course, I still had to get her a gift because I was like, girl, like, come on, <laughs> like, I can't. And I don't know if I showed y'all, but Thursday when my best friend took me out, I was so like, <laughs> she just surprised me so much. Like, ugh, try not to get choked up. But when she came, she had got me these roses too when she came because she took me out to dinner. I don't know if I told y'all that I was like on cloud nine. Like she took me out to dinner and oh, she did. I think she did tell y'all why. Well, we was at the restaurant. So yeah, she had got me these flowers. She had got me balloons, which is the balloons are already deflated. Like they're already gone. They, they didn't survive. She also got me a bottle of Stella Rose, like one of my favorite wines. Just so sweet. Like, oh, so. We had a good time too. I probably didn't already talk about it, but girl, we had a time at that restaurant. I wanted, let me show y'all, this is so cute. So I already have a black one, but I have been wanting this color for the longest. So when I was in Bible study Wednesday, I had told AJ like, cause this Sunday was like casual, wear your shirts, you know, dress down. And I had told AJ when, we, when Wednesday, he had choir practice and me and Tony had Bible study. And I was like, oh, I want one of those shirts. They also have a pink one. So I want to get that one as well. But I just love this color. This is so cute. So I got to wear my shirt today. I was happy about that. Your blood makes atonement for my sin. Cleanses deep within. And I know that you, you forgive all unrighteousness. Makes no sense to me Why you died for your enemies Now I live, I live So draw, draw me close Darkness loses its hold It's hold on me So draw, draw me close Darkness loses its I need to be making more money, you know, 
so I'm out the tub. I'm about to do my skincare routine. Um, did y'all peep the kombucha though? I said, we're not doing wine tonight. We are going to do kombucha because we ate so bad <laughs> this weekend. We need something to get in there and just do what it needs to do. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and remove my makeup with these. Get this makeup off my face and go ahead and do my skincare. I'm going to be doing my full skincare tonight. My bubble bath was amazing. I watched um, Angela Yee's. She was doing an interview just talking about her life, um, the things she's pursued in life, you know, um, areas she struggled working with certain people, just different things like that. I love watching interviews like that. I love watching biopics as well. I just love knowing a person's story. Like, I like to know what kept them going when they were not successful yet. I like to see, you know, how they work through their wins, their losses, just... I like to see people's stories. our skincare routine as you can see the skin is glowing I swear nothing compares to you getting your routine down for your skin type and it works and it just does what it's supposed to do baby I love it here it's been a long time coming and for the you know I'm still critiquing and trying new things but I know my base like I know my main products that I need to stick with for my skin um, I do have dry skin so and sensitive skin um, so the products that I showed y'all I've not had any problems with it so far um, but you know all skin types are different they all respond differently so just want to put that disclaimer out there <laughs> y'all I gotta go over this sermon with you all the sermon was so good today um, and it says this won't be my dead end and it says the theology of situational acceptance many of us is questioning where we are but God is saying to you, you are exactly where you are supposed to be. 
you are right where God needs you to be. So when we're going through things and it's not working out in our favor or we're feeling discouraged or we just feel like no matter what we do, we getting hit left and right. Or why am I not elevating like everybody else? Well, everybody's journey is different. Everybody's finish line is different. So whatever he's put, uh, whatever God has planted in us, all of our seasons are different, different timing, different things that we'll experience, uh, different timing, different experiences, you know, different levels of pain. Um, but it equips us for that particular calling that he has for us. So although it hurts and stuff, just know it, it has to be done. Like it's God's will to be done because only he knows where he's going to take you. And only he knows what he's got to, you know, pull out of you and get you to see and things he's got to work on to prep you for that um, position. Um, you know, it's kind of like a job. They don't just give you the position. You got to show them that you're qualified to, to earn that position. So it's the same thing with God. It's like, I know where I need to take my daughter. I know the purpose I have for her life. Um, but she's not ready yet. I got, I got to strengthen her in this area. I got to strip her of this thing that she has in her, you know, all things that he feels will distract us or, um, yeah, distract us from where he's calling us. He's going to do that work in us to strip us of the strip us of those things. It says sometimes our entire set of experiences is to finally get us to a place where we can encounter God and how he wants to use us. It says Jesus removes our dead ends and gives us new life. Now, I thought that was like, wow, because new life. And then last night at the at the uh, pray and paint, it was all about he's doing a new thing. So they kind of like tied together and I'm like, okay, God, what are you saying to me? Like, where are you about to take me? Are, are you saying I'm passing my test? Like, are you saying I'm getting A pluses on my test? Because it's giving that you're going to elevate me soon and I just got to be ready. Let me calm down. <laughs> That's what we have to apply to our lives. Like even when it's bad, even when it don't feel like you're ever going to, you know, come out of it or it just, it knocks you down really bad. Like just keep the faith. Remember who is with you on that journey. Remember who's walking with you, who's fighting with you, who's covering you. Just don't lose sight of that. And that sermon was so good, y'all. My battery's on 1%, but I just had to share that with y'all. I am gonna end this vlog here because I don't want my battery to cut off. Um, but yes, I hope that helps somebody because Lord knows I was like, oh, this is so good. This is so good. But I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I know I certainly did recording it. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Like this video, comment below, sis. Talk to me, chat. Let's, let's talk in the comments. You know, I love to talk to y'all. And yeah, I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.